we will be starting. So let's start. Who is coming in uh, one minute? Okay, so namaskar and welcome back to all of you. So I think we should uh, start this one. I also have been connected um, through the various devices that uh, might be because of this, um, uh, especially this augmented reality and virtual reality tool that requires some other uh, devices and setup. So I must be switching between the uh, two or three devices in the meantime. So whenever we have that chance, so I will let you know, and then you can perform accordingly while I'll be giving. So uh, we will break our session because we have almost one hour. So 10 minutes, first 10 minutes, we will go through the basics about the different type of content that we are going to use. And then we will go for the demonstration for the next 30 to 40 minutes. And in the end, if you have any question, you can ask over there. But if you have any troubleshoot in between the session, you may ask. So is there any language issue, uh, Hindi, English, are we uh, go bilingual? English, sir. Okay, so let me check the participant. Um, okay, so from name, uh, it's a predicted that mostly from the southern part of the country. So definitely we'll go further. English, because language is not an issue. We should understand the concept. That's the more important. Okay, so let me share my presentation. So we'll start that one. So this is, uh, uh, let me start. So if you, uh, anyone have that uh, uh, problem with the, um, internet connectivity, so may you can um, save that connectivity by switching off your mobile phone camera. Okay. So that will be better for you. Otherwise not an issue. So content, if we talk, we are using the different type of content, but here the type of content is not important. The file type is very important within that content. Okay. So because when we develop the content or use the content, that uh, thing, we should keep it in mind that how your content will work and behave that depends upon the content and the file type that you are using. So for example, in document, we have, uh, you're very familiar with the, uh, this uh, PDF doc, PPT, XLS, uh, might be familiar with the EPUB, I don't know. And then uh, might be slightly familiar with the ODT format because of the open source format. EPUB is a very interactive document. You can say that NCRT and all state textbooks are currently available in EPUB. But overall, apart from the text and document part, this EPUB is actually very interacting type of content. If uh, we have the um, uh, time, then we will uh, also see some of the sample EPUB that how it can help you to um, to manage your content. Then we have this image type of content. Definitely you know it very well, but in image we have this uh, uh, few file extension I have mentioned. The only important thing is there, say for example, you wanted to share one um, image with your learner, okay? And you wanted that the image should be in a such a way that if you scratch it, you can see all the organs together, okay? So it means the image that, that you are looking for is the scalable vector graphic, the last one that is the SVG. Sometimes we wanted that the image should be like the superimposed image, just like the image of hand. So I only want that hand image, okay? Image you can search from the internet, but what type of image you are looking for, that's important. So it means I'm looking for PNG, okay? Because that only the hand will be visible, that's it. So. That's about images. Then we have the audio program. And um, now audio is the second uh, most, uh, you know, lovable content on any uh, portal 
because we are going for the very sport cast and other and in fact ncrt has converted all their textbook into audio content and in audio content we act, uh, at this point of time mostly we are dealing with the dot mp3 file extensions then we have this video type of content and you are well versed with the video recording a large amount of video now currently you are getting my video feed only okay but in the video a uh, few extensions are there like dot mp4 currently at this point of time it's a uh, hd format so we are rendering the content of the video into dot mp4 file then we have this mob this a high resolution file and other file format are there now the question is say for example you are sharing one video with your learner okay you know that my learner only have their mobile phone to see the video then i don't think there is a possible uh, need for uh, you know sharing that dot mp4 file in high definition quality even uh, we know that only he has that mobile okay standard definition will also work and if i converted that into webm the file size will drastically reduce definitely few resolution will also decrease but that doesn't harm on a mobile phone that much okay so this is the importance of this uh, uh, file system also for these file system we require the different containers say for example you have a video uh, in your uh, mobile okay but you don't have the container to run that file obviously you are not able to see that video say for example if vlc is not there your image uh, viewer will not process because it will not read that file extensions likewise uh, vlc will not read that dot jpg file extension so whatever content that we have we definitely require the similar or the uh, container that can read that content then we have this interactive content okay interaction where uh, actually technical interaction is possible there is large number of content if you go to the diksha which is available interactive content also and all these content is available if you go to the filters so in interactive uh, the file extension is depends upon the software that you use of to make that uh, content it is not just one mp4 or mp3 because this interactive content is a multimedia content multimedia means that image is one media video is another media audio is another media and this uh, interactive content host multimedia content so for example you are making a video of by using audio and images two different file extensions you are using in one video but when you render that video the characteristics of file and audio will not be available only the video characteristic will be available because it's converted that into a video but in case of interactivity uh, softwares the interaction is possible and all the characteristics of the multimedia that we use is alive over there if it's a image it's a image it's a audio it's audio it's a video it's a video so that's why it require the software that can uh, recognize and compact that identity of each and um, uh, all uh, media together okay so that's why it's depends on the i have taken two examples like geojab brand h5p so i believe that you know all these things and you can have your own content on these uh, portals then we have the immersive content now here you can see the evolution of the content also we started from the documents and now at this uh, 21st century we is immersive i don't know what is coming in the uh, next few years so immersive content means if you see that content with proper gadgets i will also show you some of the content you see feel immersion that you are a part of the content okay so that type of content is there and definitely our session is heavily dependent on that type of content in immersive content we have three type of content Uh, augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality type of content so let's we start that what are these content and what type of content is available for biology teaching learning classes and that's free that we will uh, um, explore so uh, we will also see some of um, these uh, websites which are free uh, freely available and app so we will see that one also okay so now this is about my presentation now let's go to the augmented reality directly that what is augmented reality so let me um, try to share my screen
switch. Let me again open that app. Okay, actually, uh, because uh, I'm casting uh, this uh, screen also, and it's not possible in the iPad, but we'll go uh, together. So if uh, uh, you wanted to try, because I will directly come to the augmented reality. So what is augmented reality? So for example, if I'm going to teach a concept, and with the help of some 3D software simulations, that concept is being augmented and presented to the user in their own environment. I will show some other tool. But to start, I wanted to you, if your mobile phone is free, just open your mobile phone. Open, open your mobile phone quickly. You have your mobile phone with you. Just open your mobile phone and go to Chrome. And go to Chrome and type Tiger. Okay, this is the best example to see how augmented reality work. When you type the tiger, only tiger, just scroll down and you will find that it will be written 3D somewhere. Somewhere it will be written as 3D. Okay. So let me open on my phone. Uh, I will show through the camera. Then I will come to the other tools. Like I uh, did this uh, tiger. Okay. I did this tiger. Just scroll down. Scroll down. You will see the tiger in 3D. It is written there tiger 3D. Okay. Just click on this one on 3D Tiger. It, it is here. So click on this one. Your Tiger will be available in 3D. Like it's coming because it depends on the internet connectivity. Once it's come, then uh, it must be written uh, below this one that open scan in your space. Okay. So when you click on that part, your camera will automatically open. Just scan the camera uh, the surface of your room and then the tiger will be available in your room. So this is the one of the example. Actually, I don't know why it's uh, internet is not that uh, speedy on uh, the mobile phone. Okay, you see that one, the tiger is there. Okay, no tiger is in 3D. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can do it any side. Okay, so and this is written view in your space. Just below that one, it is written view in your space. Might be in some of the phones, it will not be there. Okay, view in your space because that's the compatibility 
with this software but once you click on this one then the camera will automatically open you need to scan the surface when you scan the surface then tiger will be available in your phone so you can try it any time it's a, not an issue but this is a one of the best example to see this uh, how augmented reality work so now let's process towards the other tool that we are going to discuss one of the most important tool in biology in uh, part in biology we can say especially uh, the dissections okay so now as a for example the dissection of frog now it's almost banned in almost all uh, schools in the country but how do students know that how to dissect a frog because this is also was the very important and the in fact the first step if someone wanted to join the uh, medical sciences okay after class 12 so augmented reality will help you to do that let me share my screen and then we'll start uh, i will uh, close my camera but my mic will be on okay so are you able to see, see my screen anyone can say are you able to see my screen yes sir Same, okay. sir. It is same. So you can see, uh, this is one of the app. It's a augmentum, uh, augmented reality biology, and it has a three experiment that you can do. It's a totally free, and it's available in both the systems. In for iOS also, if someone has uh, iOS or the Play Store, okay, Android, iOS, दोनों के लिए available है. Then go to the. Uh, we will go only the frog dissection. So then start the. Sir, is this an app, sir? Yeah, for software, sir. Ah. Huh? Is this an app? Ah, this is an app. We what we will do today? We will do mostly only the app which is freely available. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. So now, uh, it's a start activity. So then we can start the activity. As I said earlier, that in augmented reality, your camera will automatically open and you need to scan the surface. Okay. So surface should not be that much reflective. As my surface, you can see it's very reflective. So I put that mat. so i will be scanning that mat so it will ask for external anatomy or internal anatomy so we will go for the internal anatomy see i have a mat over there i need to scan it and then place click on it you will see my table uh, dissection table is ready okay so you can see i have that instruments also i have the frog and i have that the uh, dissection tray to put that the organs over there it has the instructions also so now uh, see the instructions okay first we need to select the appropriate tool to mark that where we want to cut the frog so definitely i will use the marker so click on the marker select the appropriate okay. now mark click on the marker and you can see it will mark the pathway on the frog's body from where you need to cut so this is the very first step then we need to cut so definitely we Uh, require uh, okay so see sir uh, we we are making the incisions on the frog on exactly that pathway that we marked with the pen then we need to uh, keep the skin aside with the help of forceps so click on the forceps and this way you need to pull the skin slowly from these two parts then we need to fix the skin so pins are there just click on this one and uh, you will fix that one also okay now you need the scissor to cut the skin now again we need to separate the skin flaps with the help of forceps now you can see that we are able to see the different organs inside the body of the frog again fix that one with the help of pins now take out the lever okay so click on the forceps and this is the lever just put the lever on the dissection tray where it is uh, written okay then cut the heart free so we need to uh, keep out the heart but we need to uh, first cut the arteries so we need the uh, 
uh, this uh, scissor to cut that. Okay, so we cut it. Now we will pick up the heart. Pick the heart and keep it there. Then the gallbladder. Pick up the gallbladder slowly. Then the small intestine. Okay, but uh, we need to cut the small intestine free from both the ends. Now keep it separate. Now the stomach. Now the large intestine. Yes, Paul. Okay, so it has the fat bodies also. Two fat bodies are there that we need to pick and paste it there. We'll keep that fat bodies in the dissection tray. And then uh, we need to cut the first, we need to uh, separate the lungs. And then we need to pick that lung and put it into the dissection tray. Okay, and then finally the kidneys are there. So you can uh, um, make incisions to separate the kidneys. Okay, so use the razors. And then pick the kidneys to keep them separate. Okay, so this way the uh, students at least are able to understand that how they are going to dissect the frog. Although this is, uh, this is banned, but at least they can have an idea that uh, if the physical frog is not available, then uh, I believe that this uh, app will definitely help them to, um, you know, know the know about the activities of, that is required for uh, this uh, frog dissection. So this is uh, we can say the one of the tool uh, which is freely available in both. I will definitely share the link and the presentation here. We can see that one. Okay. So now comes to the uh, some portals that we can go through, which are freely uh, having their content, so that we can see. Like here is uh, uh, another uh, portal by the Amrita University, NCRT and Government of India. This uh, uh, virtual labs are all labs. And these virtual labs are all labs are currently available on Dicha also and on uh, this portal also. It has a large number of apps, but we will go directly to the biology part. So you click on this one. This much activity which are available over there to perform. So you can go to any of the activity which you would like to perform. Okay, so simply if you go to this uh, study of onion, so it has a very peculiar pattern that you require the theory, okay, which has this aims theory and about mitosis, okay, and the different events of the mitosis, and then the cell cycle, okay, and then uh, from where you can get this one and uh, along with the learning outcomes. That's definitely required for your teaching learning process also. So almost all the lab have the same structure. Then you uh, go for the procedure that what are the things that you require that you can see from there. And then um, uh, both of procedures, the real lab procedure is also there. And then the simulator uh, procedure is also there that we are going to perform. Then they have that animation. If you wanted to see, this is the video that how you can perform this activity. And then we will go to the simulator. So then they have this uh, simulator. Okay. So in uh, your lab also, you require all these equipments. And then you can select the objective lens, whether it's a 40x or 100x. Click over there. And then there is a procedure for to just to drag this uh, slide from tray to the microscope. Okay. So once we fix this one, so. Okay, so now we click on that uh, objective lens and then you can see that at 40 power, this uh, 
a resolution, we will see uh, this type of cells, okay, in the root tip. So now you can also increase the, increase the power that uh, let's go for 100x. So then you will see, you need to adjust the supports adjustment and uh, slightly the fine adjustment is also there just to give the feel that how in the microscope, what activities you can do. Okay, fine adjustment is there, coarse adjustment is there, then the slide adjustment is there. You click on this, will the slide will be moving towards that side or this side. So that also feel is there. Okay, and then uh, you can go to the by voice. Some questions are there. The learner can give the answer, submit, and check that whether they have submitted the correct answer or not. So accordingly, you can also have other resources from where they have taken content or where you want to do some more content on this one. So these are the resources they had given and also you can submit the <clears throat> feedback. So this is also uh, one of the good portal, we can say, which is uh, available over here to see that one. And uh, you can try uh, many uh, labs which are available in biology for class 12th, for class 11th, and class 10 and 9. Okay, we'll come back here if we uh, got some time because we have some other tools to explore also. There is another such portal which is available. So um, this is a virtual lab, okay, virtual biology lab. This is also one of the good portals because see what happens. You go search the content on the internet regarding any app, you will mostly find the systems, different type of system, because this is a very fascinated content. <laughs> so everyone first developed this, that type of content. But the beauty of this portal, that it targets the ecology, okay, and the cell biology and the evolution model, which is actually based on the research data, which is very important. And in biology, especially in school education, you cannot find ecological lab. So from here, you will get that idea and you can also implement in your schools. So let's see, it's a few ecological models are there. So you can use any model over there. So estimating the population size, let's try this one. So once you launch this app, so this is the simulation where you can uh, first uh, uh, set up the things that whether the pound size is a medium, okay small or large you can set accordingly and then uh, you have this uh, population of, uh, then uh, uh, net size okay it's uh, there that net net size is a small or maybe you go for medium or you go for large okay so pound volume then accordingly that will be uh, things will be set now you can go directly say for example click on go so now your fishes are run run now you to have estimate the fishes by capturing them. So this is a dip net. So when I click on the dip net, you saw that this, uh, the fishes are comes in the uh, overhead water tank. So these are the fishes that comes. Now, so for example, again, I marked the fish and wanted to see the uh, estimated size. I can mark the fish. Click on the number of time you will click on the mark. The uh, fishes will be marked over there. You can see I click four times. Now I have four. Uh, fishes over there. You can track uh, track the speed. If you see there is a, on upper side, there's a one um, um, line is there to track the movement uh, speed. Now it's going very slow. Okay. So again, you can more uh, slow further than or you can fast then that depends on what type of uh, study that you are conducting. Okay. So this speed is okay. Now you can release these fishes again to the tank to see their uh, diversification okay so you can see the fishes are there now you wanted to capture the fish and see the how many we can uh, capture uh, while um, uh, color is there okay so accordingly we need to see that when fish come to the center so that we can capture that fish is over there so let's try okay so one fish we capture so accordingly, you can estimate the population size depending on the what capture you have. So you see the total marks uh, at the bottom. Uh, so four fishes marked in the bucket currently one total in the bucket 26. Current sample size 26, total caught 26. So accordingly, this is a really a uh, good thing that you can perform such type of simulation over there. So it's a really one of the good portal. So it again, uh, you see, uh, 
uh, one uh, activity uh, we can try so for example in cell biology so let's it's a membrane activity is there so we can go to see what type of uh, it's a biological active regulators so it's a semi permeable uh, membrane type of activity is there it has a, a pdf also for directions to see and then a launch is there so now accordingly you set your parameters whatever the you wanted to set like uh, because it's a permeability so definitely it depends upon various factors like uh, heat or it's a other um, you know uh, atom and molecules are there so just uh, click on the setup and set up the things so now you see uh, permeable blue so we have uh, uh, one mark and permeable blink we have uh, so see and heat we can little bit we can increase diffusion we can little bit decrease so let's see uh, okay now you can go now you will see <clears throat> that slowly the heat is increasing and accordingly what will be the permeability of the membrane okay you can uh, increase the uh, speed of diffusion so for example little bit i can speed i can so you can see what molecules and accordingly uh, the proportion the graph you see it will the graph accordingly uh, make that graph you see in the left left side the graph is actually building the line whatever the number is crossing that membrane accordingly that graph is built and you can see the timers so such resources actually i find it's uh, earlier we didn't have this type of resources but no the research is going on and people shows interest in making such type of resources also otherwise you can see we have the only process uh, digestion process respiratory process and other because that are the very fascinating process but this type of resources is actually very hard to get but now these are freely available so we should use this type of resources so let's uh, uh, see some other uh, portals which are available in biology i will share all these uh, links don't worry so some other i have curated for you so there is uh, one good resource i have also mentioned over there this is uh, the gigot body which is of um, um, this content is freely available see we will only discuss the content which is freely available or open source so we should use which is available till the time it is free so here you can change the uh, body from here you can see at the left side is a menu this is adult body uh, male or female whatever you can click you can change accordingly and since this type of content is actually with heavy you require good internet content uh, with your uh, mouse or fingers you can rotate this uh, person okay the body is there and you can zoom in zoom out also now here is the slider you move this slider so accordingly it will change uh, no the skin is not there okay now we are reaching to the muscles i will go further now it's a skeletal system now we are able to see the different body organs okay so now the arteries and veins are there along with the heart and accordingly you can uh, put them back that's quite easy and also you can zoom this one as much as you want okay, you can see we can zoom it to the maximum and you can see it from the all the levels so this is the beauty of uh, this uh, uh, this type of uh, immersive resources okay or you can say multimedia resources that because to see this view Uh, completely in case of image you require a large number of images from the all the sides which is not possible to get from the single source but here it's a 3d and you can see it from the all side you can see the aorta there are opening and closing of the different arteries and veins okay and how they are entangled inside this uh, frame okay frame of ribs yeah that you can see so let's move further you can also uh change uh you know you now you can see the bulbs over there okay atrial valve and you can see that how their setting is there so so this is the beauty of uh, all these resources so you can also uh try uh, these type of resources till the time these are freely available i don't think there is any 
problem of using this type of resource it has another uh, resources but sometimes these have the pay resources so another so great that feature of the premium the version is the ability to change how you navigate you around your scene you do and you will get the videos okay here a uh, uh, possibility of uh, you can capture these scenes on this portal also but definitely that uh, bit paid with when you go for login and sign in but uh, which is freely available we should use that part this is what i'm uh, wanted to say uh, so from here also you can uh, click on the plus and minus to this uh, increase or decrease the size to zoom in or zoom out so accordingly we can see that uh, i believe this is one of the uh, good resources which is freely available then we have uh, uh, another uh, type of resources you must have gone through this one this is the national geographic kids so they have not just the videos but other resources also so for example they have games okay so games puzzle actions funny film so different type of games are there so let's go to try some of the games that how they are work, working so let's go for the puzzle in puzzle we have the different type of games uh, matching sharks habitats or other things because we only talk about the biology today <laughs> so let's go for the shark okay so matching the shark so let's play this one because see sometime we require some activity to control our students so for example they don't have uh, they don't want to uh, study today okay <laughs> they don't want to have your lecture today so how do you control so this type of resources may be useful in that case so click on this one then matching pairs or spot the difference so let's go for the matching pairs obviously we go for easy okay so now we have all these cards and you need to match it's just like the other games that we are playing so it's a great uh, hammerhead shark so let's see where is this so uh this is short in and this is also short fin okay so now this is a great hammerhead shark and this is a great hammerhead shark and this one is the tiger shark and obviously this one is a tiger shark so accordingly we will have uh, these games apart from this uh um uh, like animals okay prehistoric or reptiles let's go for the prehistorical animals so then uh, they have the uh, content you can click on any content and you can read about that one okay so for example this is the uh, t-rex so saying that is a uh, three different uh, species so like the content is there and all information relevant to t-rex you can find it over here they have one more uh, thing uh, maybe we can uh, surf it from uh, somewhere where that you can uh, so live webcam of the animals so it uh, since it's a uh, directing that one from the us so definitely this time the animals must be sleeping but you can search on this portal it's somewhere that uh, the live activities of the animals like panda okay how they live behave so live directly from the that juice uh, the videos are coming over there you can search it on this website so because there are a lot of resources are there uh, on this website so now these are the few of the things that we have uh, from augmented and the virtual uh, augmented reality only not the virtual reality so now we will move uh, towards the virtual reality and uh, i have already set up uh, my setup so i will show you that how uh, actually i will feel that but uh, how do you feel <laughs> that you can tell me but you can actually see that how uh, this uh, virtual reality will changing the world because uh, if you have any occasions to come to the cit you will see that uh, in uh, one experiential learning center is there which cit is uh, uh, you know helping hard to all the states that at least one uh, such resource center should be there in uh, uh, other states so we will see that how this virtual reality will help so let me open my camera so you can see uh, that how this set is available so this is uh, uh, one of the set that i have so are you able to see this one 
anyone yes sir yes sir okay so this is uh, one of the best uh, headset this yes, time sir, so yes. we need to wear this one when you wear this one you will be inside it but what is inside it you will see from here on this screen okay so let me go inside and i have set up uh, my lab and one uh, uh, you know uh, skeletal system is over there so are you able to see my lab let me ah uh, no 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 just wait just wait just wait just wait let just me uh, um, start that one and then uh, we'll see this is a starting so Just wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah, are you able to see the lab? Anyone can respond, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so now I'm inside my lab. You can see that it's a very beautiful lab. X-ray scanner is there. So it's a really good lab you can see. So let me start this uh, and start. Excellent, sir. So what is in front of me? Uh, skeletal okay. 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 so okay. My okay. menu is skeletal. there on this hand. This hand I have a menu. I can scroll to any side. Now I can actually interact with this uh, skeletal system. And where I'm clicking, you will see all the information are, are in front of my eyes. Okay. So that's how I can interact with this one. I can uh, keep this skull with me. Okay. So let's, uh, you can see the skull is just in front of me. Are you able to see? That's my nice, sir. No, yes. I can expand this one to as much as you can see how big it is. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So Excellent, sir. beautiful. And you can see the, all the, uh, you know, uh, Characters that we have, and to move it to any side with your hands. Literally, you can move to uh, definitely you are able to see this one. And you can click on this one and it will unfold the every bone in front of you. Whoa, now you can nice, pick nice. now you can keep uh, pick any bone. Okay. You can study this bone. This is a maxilla, and in front of you, all the nice, you can see the largest metrical bone of the facial part of the skull. Okay. So with Hello. your hand, you can rotate it to any side. Hello. Can... Yeah, please. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are listening to you, sir. Sir, Rakan from Karnataka. Voice yeah, yeah. Is not audible, sir. Hello. Voice is not audible? No, not get into the no. session, sir. Since uh, half an hour, 10 minutes. Not, not audible, audible. Okay. Sir, no clarity in the voice. No, no, that might be some uh, internet issue because no, others sir, are saying sir. that it's good, sir. No. I feel some uh, internet connectivity with you, sir. Yeah, your is voice this? is clear only, sir. Ah, might be, sir, internet connectivity. Okay. So here uh, uh, you can see that you can interact. And this is what we call this mixed reality. Okay. Because in augmented reality, you can put that just uh, uh, the dissection of frog. That is a part of your environment. In virtual reality, you are under a simulation. And in mixed reality, you can actually interact with all these... Uh, uh, resources inside it. So, so do we have time? Uh, time uh, because uh, we can see one more resources. Yeah, we have fifteen minutes. So uh, let me set up uh, one. See the beauty of this uh, virtual and mixed reality. The resources which are not available. Okay, that resource we can see. So, for example, we can talk about the evolution. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me quickly uh, find out that. But definitely require that, uh, you know, um, high resolution. Uh, yeah, ma'am? What, what is the instrument that you used, sir? 
uh, we called it a, uh, virtual reality box. box virtual reality box. Box. box yeah VR actually box. in cit we have a full fledged lab of it so you can see uh, without vr box we cannot see this type of uh... yes without box you cannot see but the box you can get uh, very cheap also how much sir it started from 300 rupees okay thank you sir actually i'm um, quickly not able to get that uh, i just format it uh, yeah it's uh, here is the uh, first life you can see so now see, this is the evolution and really you will feel that you are actually part of the evolution okay just wait just wait i will directly go there was very different from the one we know today. The early continents had only just solidified. The land was... Cells began to... So it's just uh, the coarser waves and the cell begins. Now see, this is the first organism. You can see how it was looked like. Just a few million years after they first evolved, they vanished. An evolutionary dead end. Just the was dying out. Nuke. It probably had a... See, inside the Okay, anyway. So, uh, this is what we call this uh, virtual and the mixed reality where we have that possibility that we can actually interact with the content. So, which is... Uh, Hello. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Sir, I had a doubt. Uh, please, sir. Um, speak up. Speak uh, while, up. Uh, sir, while uh, you are watching in the uh, box uh, there, how it is uh, visible to us? Uh, I mean, how you are able to see this one? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, this is I'm actually I'm casting from there to on this device. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. Now see. Thank you. Uh, uh, let, let me tell you one thing. This okay. content content is available in almost all subject areas. Believe me. In almost all subject areas, including biology, and this headset started from rupees three hundred rupees. Okay, from Amazon, if you search VR box, you will get from two thousand or so. You will get the nice box. I yes. already have uh, this one. And the app. Can you please share available. that uh, link, sir? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I will share uh, along my along with my PPT. I will share all yes, the sir. link, all the apps Thank which you. are available freely, and uh, from where you can purchase it. But in that case. You need to install the app on your mobile phone and you need to put that mobile phone into that box. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank because you. Because this is a bit costly. It's a standalone box. It has everything inside it. So that uh, not that, that issue and you can interact. But there also it will come with a small remote that you can interact with the content also. That's possibilities there. And the all type of content which is available over there. So, uh, if you have any uh, questions, sir. Uh, so actually, Edmonton AR Biology is not available in Google Play Store, sir. Edmonton AR Biology is not available in Google Play ah, Store. No, no, it, it is there. Let me uh, share my screen. Yeah. So, the, because the, the app name is Edmonton, not okay. AR Biology. It's Edmonton. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. So let me go to
because this app is available for both uh, um uh okay we have wait 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 actually i already have this link uh, on this ppt if you see so this one is oh maybe they have just removed it because uh, this session we have all thursday okay yes. so last thursday this was there okay okay sir now it's not available. i will again uh, recheck this one another That's one is there here or anatomy uh ah little lot of sir, content another is there. one is there is like here yeah, anatomy sir lot of content is there. Oh, is that useful but only... sir, actually we need some safer and free yes uh, yes, yes this is this is what i'm going to talk because as a teacher we need some authentic reviewed and checked content okay so that's a problem is there so no i am afraid if they can uh, you know <laughs> if they removed it from there so maybe it can gone from our mobiles also that may be possibility is there sometime okay anyway so if you have any question any query you may ask please otherwise i will show you uh, that's uh, this um, epub okay that you can see that because uh, epub is also developed by using the soft uh, free software so you can see that how it works and how you can use that one so so is it possible to show this augmented reality to it through our a interactive board as well as our powerpoint yes yes, yes yes it's the same way the way i am um, uh, doing um, uh, from my headset to this the same way you can do it okay and if you have window then it's really very good then not not an issue there is a uh, screening apps which are available uh, freely like uh, one is uh, this one is um, that i am using uh, for android only scr cpy okay it's a free and it will uh, uh, render your uh, high quality uh, okay. content so you can download it from there on your uh, uh linux you can see windows and mac os okay install it one time it's a free of cost open source then put your mobile in just you need to do debugging on your mobile phone go to settings search for debugging click on it that's it high quality content you will render over there use your mobile phone in the class